And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to SWE Monday Night Raw with a twist. Because uh, this evening, it's the WCL Wrestling Show Championship on the line as the merchandise Mike Musso looks to challenge the original Craig Stevens for the WCL Wrestling Championship. Now, two fun facts about this championship. One, first time ever outside W3L, it will be defended. First time ever, it will be defended at an SWE event. Do not adjust your tablets or your TV set because this is about to be brutal. It's Mike Musso against Craig Stevens, and it's right now. Let's get ringside for the action. Ladies and gentlemen, your fourth contest is set for one ball. <laughs> and it's for the W3L Wrestling Showdown Championship. <laughs> Introducing first. has been defended. It'll be the last time. You think Moose, Mike Moose is going to have another chance, opportunity to go through W3 on management? Nothing. I'm the original for a reason. There's only one in me. You can't copy me. Felt good. The ring announcement, but Craig Stephen has jumped. Mike Musso. Mike is down. There's to be fans all over Craig Stevens. Don't blame them. This match is not officially underway. I've never seen Stevens like this. In a way, in a sense, he's had it easy in w oh, sorry, SWE because he's been bringing the championships since Hell for Like last year when he first won the breakout championship. And he's never defended them, so he's never been under such pressure in SWE at least. But tonight's a different story and he knows that. So he's like a rat trapped in the corner. And look at this, and a, a more aggressive, vicious Stevens. And ladies and gentlemen, in association with WPL management, the WPL Wrestling Showdown Championship is on the line, but also 
if Craig Stevens does get through this match, he'll go into W3L's biggest event on their calendar, Resolution. And he's set to defend the Showdown Championship in a triple threat match. Basement drop kick. Stevens has been on Musso since the get go. Musso's not been able to recover from that championship to the face. Stevens going for his power slam. This is what gave Musso back issues in the past. Musso fights out of it. Russian leg sweep to the apron. Never seen that before, but effective. Musso was coming with a sledgehammer. Stevens seen it. No. Musso blocked it and uh, decides to introduce Stevens to their apron. A great shot by our third camera here. Musso now getting going. This is Musso's first singles match since Hell for Laker last year. His first match since Hell for Laker last year in SWE. Got some uh, breathing issues after his tag team match at Hell for Laker. And next week, oh, Stevens just caught Musso. Stevens going for a superplex. Musso blocks it. Fights out of it. Musso still going up top here. Oh no, cross body. Two on late. Next week on Brawl, for the last time ever, you'll see Musso and Nathan Reynolds team up to take on the original Alphas in a tag team match. And then the week after, there's no running. Scoop slam. There's no running for the Alpha Male as the Alpha Male will take on Nathan Reynolds. And stay tuned to this broadcast. Because after this match, we'll be running down the entire card for Hellbound. There we go. Which is this week, this Saturday. As is uh, WTL's event, Resolution, that's this Friday. Stevens now, elbow at the kidneys. Hooks the leg for that, two only. Big fight feel on Monday night brawl tonight, ladies and gentlemen. in the corner, working the back, the kidneys, he knows that Mike has had back problems in the past. 
Ladies and gentlemen, next week, Bro Hits, episode 20, 20 weeks, big anniversary, big tag team match. There you see it, the Alphas will take on Musso and Reynolds. Will Musso be the WTL Wrestling Showdown Champion? That's the question. And here comes Musso with a clothesline in the corner. Stevens dazed. In the other corner now. Musso with a splash. You hear that one less belt. Stevens loves his championships. Those are his pride possessions. And there's a boot. Nothing fancy. Again, effective. This isn't a wrestling match. This is a fight. This is showdown on Monday night. Very unorthodox there, the sliding elbow. How many has he got? Well, he may have won. Here the SDB fans, one less belt. Both men have a busy weekend ahead of them. Also, will also be competing at Resolution. Hell for Laker as well. October 15th, tickets still on sale. And now a vice grip by Stevens. Here and he gets tries to get that by Bull Russian Stevens to the corner. Didn't work. Mike saying no, making sure the referee knows that he's saying no. Bull rushes and gets out of this time. Ducks comes up. Oh! Just picks him up and slams him in a splash. Lateral press, hooks leg. Gets a two. Third time lucky. Third time lucky. Mink is now going to go to the top rope, I believe. Nails that elbow, textbook. Stevens manages to kick out. How, I don't know, but I guess that's why he's a triple crown champion. <laughs> I think Mike's telling them we're going to finish him. This will be the famous carry into the DDT. He calls it the merchandiser. No. Look at that power. And he hits the slam, the power slam, the patented power slam. Two only.
Stevens Maha, Pete. Stevens run it, missile, missile side steps. Stevens up and over to the outside. Can't win the championship on the outside. Hits the axe handle. Let's go. Take one. Yeah. Four. 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 This is going to crush the skull of Stevens. Stevens moved out the way. And now Stevens is in control. Not a slam, not on the. Oh! Stevens just cracked his skull off the post. Stevens isn't moved. Revy's up to eight. Missile's in the ring. We're up to nine. Stevens hasn't moved and needs to get in the ring. Oh no. I'm going to have to give the official word, but I just realised. So Stevens will retain by the count out decision. Mike wins the match. And next week, the Alphas against the merchandise to watch. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, as I'm going to run down the car. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that means now Hellbound is just on the horizon. The final stop will have Lycra, but first, Craig Stevens will be in action at W3L's Resolution, defending his W3L Wrestling Showdown Championship against the Goblin of the High Seas, Captain Yunji Maki, and his tag team partner, Saqib Ali. It's going to be a great show. It's happening this Friday at the Brunton Hall in Musselburgh. But 24th of September, the very next night, Rio Centre, Newport on Tay. Doors open 6.15, first bell's at 7. It's the final stop before Hell for Lycra. It's Hellbound. And here's some of the action you're going to see. First off, Ace Anderson and Johnny Thunder will compete in a number one contenders match for the SW Future Division Championship. The winner will go on Hell for Lycra and challenge for the SW Future Division Championship. However, will uh, Ace Anderson new attitude uh, come to light? 
And speaking of Ace Anderson, will Lucha Diaz be able to concentrate as he takes on the original Craig Stevens, the man who wants all the belts, going against up Scotland's very own lovable Luchador. Then it's the Empress Division. Katia will be back in action, looking for that win, but she'll be taking on the debut of KT Mills. KT Mills will be looking to impress SDB management. Katia will be looking for the win. And it's champion versus champion, title for title, as the hometown boy, Luke Aldridge, will put his Future Division Championship on the line, and Hugo Harris will put his Showcase Championship on the line. One chap will leave Newport with two straps. But who will it be, Harris or Aldridge? Hall of Famer versus Hall of Famer as Martin and Stallion, the 2020 Hall of Fame inductee, goes up against the 2021 Hall of Fame inductee, the one to watch, Nathan Reynolds. We're giving you a health for like a caliber match at Hellbound, Newport on Tay. It's going to be rocking. And then a tag team match as Scotty Rishio and Brian Christie will face the Jackal and KJ Nitro due to Hugo Harris being busy. The stipulation here is if Rishio and Christie can beat the Jackal and KJ, they'll get the opportunity at the Tag Team Championships at Hell for Lycra. But if Jackal and KJ win, Rishio and Christie don't get another opportunity at the Tag Team Championships as long as Jackal and Harris are the Tag Team Champions. Will it be Rishio and Christie or Nitro and the Jackal? And then it's the main event for the SW World's Heavyweight Championship as Mike Musso challenges the Alpha Male for the SW World Heavyweight Championship, the richest prize in Scotland. Can Mike Musso add some gold to his collection and go into Alpha Lycra and defend it? Or will Alpha solidify his dominance? It's all coming to you, Hellbound, the final stop before Alpha Lycra, Saturday the 24th of September at the Rio Centre on Newport on Tay. Doors open 6.15, first bell 7. Message the SW Facebook page for tickets. Adults £12, kids £10, family of four £40. Catch us SW online, TV, YouTube for our weekly show, Bra. Ladies and gentlemen, from me and the rest of the SW team, we'll see you at Hellbound.